Right then, so uh, Blink-182 Kaleidoscope from the uh, Neighbourhoods album. Intro riff, uh, it's really simple riff, but um, actually what you need to remember though, for the entire song, uh, we're going to drop D, the tuning, okay? So that just means taking the big, thick E string, tuning it down to a D, so to start off with then, the intro riff sounds like this. Okay, so it's your index finger, lay that down on fret 9, so you're covering strings 5 and 6, put your little finger onto fret 12, string number 4. Okay, really heavy, then take that off and put your ring finger onto fret 11. Okay, then take that off. Then you just got your index finger down on string uh, 4, 5 and 6 on fret 9 and then go down to fret 7. So, okay, dun, 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 dun. and then from there it's going to slide your finger down to fret 5, uh, so you're covering strings 5 and 6, ring finger onto fret 7, play it once and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so, okay. So really simple stuff, look at the next part of it, it's going to be exactly the same, apart from when you get down to the 5 and the 7, don't bother putting your little finger on, all we're going to do is keep our um, index finger over all three strings, okay? Good boy Leo. So it's just going to sound like this. Okay, that's just the difference there, and it's going to look like that okay so that's the intro there then Whew. so that's the uh, intro there then the verse is exactly the same okay so that's where Mark sings stop banging away on my kaleidoscope it's exactly the same as the intro alright then after that we're just going to go into uh, the interlude so interlude there uh, put a nice clean tone on your amp and it's going to sound like this. Okay, pretty simple stuff. Uh, nice and slow. Uh, to start off with, it's going to be a D chord. So that's going to be putting your uh, middle finger on fret 2, string 1. Your index finger, fret 2, string 3. Your ring finger in the middle there on fret 3, string number 2. Play that and also uh, 4 and 5 open. Okay, from there it's an A, so that's your little finger on fret 2, string 2, ring finger, fret 2, string 3, your middle finger, fret 2, string 4, so as well as uh, 1 and 5 open. From there, take your index finger, lay that down over fret 2, so you're covering it, so you've got to make sure you're covering strings 1 and 5, okay, then your middle finger onto fret 3, string number 2, your uh, little finger onto fret 4, string 3, and your ring finger, fret 4, string number 4. Okay, and then back to that A shape. So, really simple stuff. Next up then, the pre-chorus. Uh, so, two power chord shapes, index finger fret 7, string number 5, ring finger fret 9, string 4, little finger fret 9, string 3. Play it once then, slide that down to 5 and 7 and play that 7 times, so, and do it again. Okay, really simple, alright? That's the pre-chorus, nice and quick. So the chorus then, and it's uh, really simple again. Just one finger, all right, really easy. Um, what we're going to do is play strings four, five, and six uh, five times, all down, and then put your index finger onto fret seven. So you're covering strings five, six, uh, four, five, and six, and play that three times. Okay, so. And let's do that again. From there, down to fret 4, 8 times, then up to fret 5, 8 times. Okay, that's the chorus. You know, like I said, really easy. 
So the next part is just the bridge then. Uh, what we're going to do is put your guitar to a nice clean tone or at least turn your distortion you know, really low, really low, okay? And um, it's going to sound like this. Okay? And again, it's quite simple, you know, quite nice and slow, just getting the timing right, okay? So uh, to start off with, strings 4, 5 and 6, open twice, then index finger onto fret 2, string number 3, twice, and then your ring finger onto fret 4, so do 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 do, alright, from there then, back to your index finger on fret 2, I'm going to play this, so 1, 2, 3, finger off and play all three open twice, okay, and again, it is a little bit difficult to you know get the timing right just listening to me play it. So make sure you keep listening to the song, okay? And it'll sound like this. Do 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 do. All right. From there, then index finger, fret five, covering strings four, five, and six. One, two, three, four. And then as soon as you play the fourth time, put your ring finger onto fret seven. String number four. So, all right, and then from there, I'm going to stay in that shape and go. So, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so from the start. All right, uh, that's the first part of the bridge. Look at the next part. The first two bars are the same, so that's the. up to there and the next part instead of going up to the five we're just going to put your index finger down on fret two and play the following shape okay that's the last two bars and again listen to me playing it and um, it can be a little bit difficult getting the timing just make sure you're following my fingers you know putting your fingers in the right places then just make sure you're listening to the song to get the timing but once again it'll sound like this right from the start of the bridge okay Okay, that's the bridge. Uh, I think after the bridge, it's going to go back into the chorus. Uh, after the chorus, then the end of the song. Simple uh, end to the song. It's just this uh, chord pattern here. So that's going to be distorted and just let it ring out. And all it is, put your index finger on fret five, string number five, ring finger, fret seven, string three, which means we've got string four in the middle. Lay your index finger down to mute it like that. Also play string 6 open and like I say just let that note ring out alright so that's Blink 182 Kaleidoscope from the album uh, Neighbourhoods. Any problems, comments, feedback as always let me know below the video and I'll see you in the next lesson.